Hello to my water sign family. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and this is going to be a combined reading for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, as I had been feeling under the weather for the past few days. So I wanted to at least get something out to you for the week ahead. So this reading is for today, January 24th through the 30th, and asking Spirit, what is the main message coming through for the week ahead? So let's take a look at the cards. First card, Ace of Pentacles. Next, the Knight of Cups. And the Ten of Swords. Well, a first energy that I'm picking up here, Water Signs, is that there's going to be an opportunity for you to take advantage of. It's just a question if you're going to realize this or not. There is a strong indication of following your intuition this week as this is going to move you past where you've been stuck and stagnant. Almost like divine timing is coming into play this week. And for some water signs, you might be meeting someone new. That might start out as a friendship, but it's going to grow into something so much more. This will be a person that is coming to your aid, assistance, support. And through that... It's going to grow into something more. It's going to be quite unexpected as you're really not looking for love right now. But water signs, there is an indication of the worst is over. So there's endings, yet there is opportunities for new beginnings coming in for this week. So looking at the first card here, you have the Ace of Pentacles. And this is the opportunity that I'm talking about. There's something coming in, something that might be crossing your path this week, something being presented to you. Could be at home, could be in the workplace, could be in regards to your health and well-being. So there's an opportunity for some of you, could be deciding to start a family or your existing family might be growing. So there could be an opportunity here for pregnancy, the birth of a child, like adding to your family. For some water signs, this is in regards to your job, your career. There could be another opportunity that's coming in. It could be a new, pro like a, yeah, a new position or some kind of promotion. Or for some water signs, this is with another company and you just need to go for it. That's what my guides are saying. Just go for it. This is the time this week, especially water signs, to take advantage of anything that comes your way. If it sparks your interest, go for it. Now, the Ace of Pentacles, that can also be in regards to your health and well-being. There could be something that you've been noticing about your health and you need to get it checked out. You need to be proactive so that later down the line, it doesn't become a reactive energy. So like really looking at the card here, you see this archway. So it's an indication of just walking down the path, going through the archway. As the arch is here, they're openings to new paths and represent the possibility of something new. So it's whether you're going to actually see this opportunity to be able to take advantage of it. And there is a gray cloud here. So it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of telling me this is kind of a gray area. Some of you are going to take advantage of the opportunities this week and some are not. So let's pull a clarifying card for the Ace of Pentacles. The Queen of Cups. And I always say the Queen of Cups is second only to the High Priestess in the message of follow your intuition. What are your instincts saying? What's your gut telling you, your inner guiding voice? So unless you're getting some kind of big red flag, a big no, there's something that's going to be crossing your path this week and you should jump in with both feet and take advantage of. All right, next water signs, you have the Knight of Cups. Certainly your water element, specifically Pisces. 
but a strong indication here to really tap into your psychic abilities. It's an energy of creativity, romance, your spiritual intuition. So an indication with it being the night. Nights are all about movement and travel and change. And this Knight of Cups is headed towards your future. And we see the double wings here on the Knight's helmet. This is intuition, the spiritual, divine communication. And when there's two wings, as we see here, it represents opposites and balance. So there is an indication here for the water signs that you're trying to strive for more harmony and balance in your life, that you're tired of what's been going on. So for some of you, this Knight of Cups represents looking for love. For others, this is about going out and being creative, maybe seeking out a different field altogether as to how you make your living. For some, you're following your intuition, maybe kind of branching off into a more spiritual way of being, maybe incorporating some daily spiritual habits to kind of help you keep in balance and harmony. So Knight of Cups is bringing in some change and certainly bringing in your water element. I'm also picking up like a spur of the moment, like uh, about face direction and certainly not going into the past. It's just you're moving forward. So let's pull a clarifying card for the Knight of Cups. Oh, okay. I actually had two clarifying cards come out. So first, the Eight of Cups, and then the Page of Wands. So Eight of Cups, in regards to what the Knight's bringing in, is you're moving on to something new. You're tired of how things have been for you, and maybe you're following your intuition or your creativity, or you're looking for love. So you're heading off in a new direction without knowing. There's no guarantees. You won't know what you're going to find. But then you have the Page of Wands. That's good news coming in. So you won't feel that uncertainty for very long because there will be something popping up this week, news, something pointing you in the right direction. Now next, you have the Ten of Swords. And this speaks volumes. Ten of Swords is pretty much things have gotten as bad as they possibly could be. And this is definitely overkill. One sword would do the job, but there are 10 of them. So it's something that you've been bombarded with over and over and over again. And we all know what that could be in reference to. But the nice thing here is this golden light. That is dawn's early light where new things are on the horizon. So this number 10 energy with this 10 of swords is the promise of the sun will always rise and so will you. So an indication here, there's nowhere to go but up to get out of where you've been feeling stuck and stagnant. So this is a card pretty much saying pick yourself up and get on with life, water signs. Take the lessons you've learned with you so you don't make the same mistakes again. And in regards to like circumstances that were around you, this card's pretty much saying you're just done with it all. You're going to now live your life how you want it to be on your own terms. That's what I'm picking up here. Now, this number 10 energy does reduce down to number one. So you're now taking the lead to change your life and your future. So let's pull a clarifying card for the Ten of Swords. the moon. Very significant for the water signs. As you see this little guy here, you see this little guy coming up out of the water. A crayfish, a lobster, an indication here that you're shedding your old self for a new one, crawling up from your water element and moving forward down this path between these two towers. And that's the connection with the divine and your intuition. So it's trusting in your intuition without being able to see clearly where you're headed. Again, this card is your water element. Excuse me, the, the moon. 
Pisces energy, specifically dealing with your third eye and crown chakras. So it's all about your intuition this week, water signs, following that intuition. What's it telling you? And especially in regards to any new opportunities, any changes coming in to embrace what's heading your way this week. Now, very quickly, looking at your numerology here, water signs, you have the number 12, which reduces to three, which is an indication that there is opportunities. There's something trying to emerge. We're seeing that on the cards, trusting in your intuition, an opportunity being handed to you, the night coming in, bringing in this change. The worst is over. And the moon card crawling up out of your watery element, moving down the path and trusting in your intuition this week. So very strong indication, water signs, to take a look around you. Take a look at what you're unhappy with. Leave that behind you. Move forward with plans for your future. As your card, your energy this week is an indication the worst is over. Yet you need to set in motion. Take advantage of opportunities that could be coming your way for the week ahead. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe and help support my channel. And for private tarot card readings, the links are listed below. Love and abundance to my water sign family.